What's up everybody? Good morning, good afternoon, whatever time you find yourself in uh, tuning in. Uh, good to see you. Glad to be with you. This is your the daily meditation uh, for Friends of First Presbyterian Church Murfreesboro for Tuesday, July 14th, 2020. It is summer sounds outside now. Cicadas are going for it. Uh, uh, we went to Michigan. I, I, I mentioned this last time. We went to Michigan a week or so ago and came back, and I feel like it turned into summer while we were gone. We All of a sudden, it was cicadas were out and just sounded summer, like summer now. Uh, here we are. So I kind of, I plan out what scriptures I'm going to read each morning ahead of time so that when I wake up and I come out and sit in the sunroom, um, that's already written down in my little journal thing, which scriptures I'm going to read for that day. Um, and the other day I came out into the sunroom and sat down with uh, my tea and was still kind of waking up, just staring out the window, um, looking down into our backyard and looking at this creek right here in our backyard and just, you know, just spacing out how you do in the morning um, and thinking about water and the creek and how I could drink that water in the creek. I meant to bring, for show and tell, I meant to just now, I should have grabbed one, uh, one of those life straws, you know, life straw. It's like a, a straw that you can put in, in any source of water and suck the water up and it filters it out and cleans it out. Um, uh, how I could use that life straw in this creek right here and survive. Like I could live off of the water in this creek. This is what I'm thinking while I'm kind of groggy and staring out the window. I could live off the water of that creek. That would, we could do that. And then I started thinking about times that Lexi and I have been backpacking um, and done exactly that. You know, the, the high Sierra Nevada mountains, uh, high Alpine stuff, like uh, those streams, we filter that water and that's what we use to drink, to live really, you know? Um, well, Lexi and I have done that. We've survived on drinking water in the wild, you know, and I could do that in the creek. And then as I slowly started to wake up and all that, I opened my Bible and got my notebook out to read the scripture for that day. Uh, and interestingly enough, and it's always funny when this happens, it was about water and drinking. <laughs> uh, that happens sometimes. Um, it's from, so I'm going to read you that scripture from John chapter 7. Uh, John chapter 7, I'm just going to read verses 37 through 39. No, sure, 37, John 7, 37 through 39. On the last day, the climax of the festival, Jesus stood and shouted to the crowds, If you are thirsty, come to me. If you believe in me, come and drink. For the scriptures declare that rivers of living water will flow out from within you. When he said living water, he was speaking of the Holy Spirit who would be given to everyone believing in him. But the Spirit had not yet been given because Jesus had not yet entered into his glory. If you are thirsty, come to me. If you believe in me, come and drink. For the scriptures declare that rivers of living water will flow out from within you. Just to give you a little bit of background here, I remember this, these, this, this section of John's Gospel. Uh, John gives three chapters to um, this, the, the time where Jesus and the disciples were um, celebrating the Festival of the Booths, or the Festival of the Tents, Tents, the Tabernacle, Festival of Tabernacles. Uh, this is a week-long celebration where the Jewish people remembered during the Exodus how God provided for them while they lived in tents. Uh, in, in the wilderness. Um, and what else can I tell you? This, this moment where Jesus says this about the water is a, is a very interesting moment during that celebration week. Um, and I don't have it in front of me, so I'm probably going to butcher these details. But water played an important role, or it was a very symbolic element of the Feast of Tabernacles. Uh, at, at some point during that celebration, a priest would take this a pitcher from the temple they would parade down you might remember this I think I preached a sermon about this about a year ago they would parade down 
uh, through the streets of Jerusalem or whatever, and go to the, the, a pool there called the Pool of Siloam, and he would fill up the pitcher of water, uh, the Pool of Siloam, that, they, that the people used. It was a very important pool, source of life. Uh, where they drank with it, they washed their clothes with it, they, ate, they cooked with it. Um, they would march it back to the temple and then have these kind of ceremonial things and all this stuff, thanking God. And I'm not sure all the details, but the point is, Jesus said these words at the moment where the priest is drawing, it's during this ceremony of the water. Um, he, at the climax of the festival, Jesus stands up and shouts to the crowd who, and they're all watching this priest draw up this water and the very symbolic moment for the feet. I'm all itchy out here with these bugs. Sorry, I feel like I'm scratching like a crazy person. Um, they're all watching, they're all doing, and he stands up and shouts this out. If you are thirsty, come to me. If you believe in me and drink, the scriptures declare that river, rivers of living water will flow out from within you. All during this celebration uh, and ceremony of the waters. I'm not sure how this strikes you today, um, but the things that come to mind for me are Jesus's invitation to drink from the true source, and I would use a capital T and a capital S there, the true source of living water, that Jesus offers us living water, the Holy Spirit, which has been given to us. Um, that's one thought I have. And the other thing that comes to mind is how easy it is for us to worry about our, our getting water when we're thirsty. Or how small our vision can be for what God is capable of doing in us and around us. And we get focused on, on water as being the source of our survival and on things, effort that we put in um, in order to thrive and to live and to make it through the day, um, forgetting that the Holy Spirit has been given to us, um, if we would just focus our minds on the Spirit and live lives led by the Spirit, if we would just um, set our minds on what the Spirit desires, uh, the Spirit would flow out from within us. And how easy it is for us to forget that. And how good it is that that's why Jesus came, not only to save us, but to uh, give us the Spirit, living water. So my friends, may you remember that the Holy Spirit, living water, which flows from the true source, has been given to you. It has filled you up, and it is all you need in order to live, thrive, and love, and serve. Uh, and that's good news right? Grace and peace to you all. See you next time.